Caustic soda is corrosive to the eyes, skin and airways. It causes chemical burns. It is therefore important to wear appropriate personal protective equipment and strictly follow the garment donning and doffing procedures which will be explained in this video. The first task is to choose protective equipment that's appropriate to the risks being incurred, the nature of the hazardous substance and the working rules and procedures. Bring everything you need, coverall, gloves and tape to the garment donning area. Make sure you choose a coverall of the correct size that matches your body height and your chest girth. Only properly fitting clothing can give the user comfort and full protection. Clothing which is too small restricts your movements, but if it's too big, it can easily get caught in machinery, for example, putting your safety at risk, and it may also lead to heat buildup inside the coverall, thus compromising your comfort. Put on safety apparel in a clean and uncontaminated environment. Remove clothing from the upper body, coat or jacket. Remove any sharp objects that could damage the protective clothing or restrict your movements. To put on the equipment, sit down or lean against a hard surface in order to avoid falling. Put the cover all on. Put your boots on. Pull the cuffs over the boots, do not tuck them inside the boots. This will avoid contaminating the inside of the boots and ensure the dissipation of electrostatic energy. Put the oxygen harness on. Put the face mask on. Check that the respirator is working properly. Allow your colleague to check that the mask is positioned correctly. Put on the hood before fully closing the zipper and pull on the bottom of your coverall in order to allow your colleague to tape the zipper flap without folds or creases. Let your colleague tape the chin flap in order to tighten the passage between the mask and the hood. Your colleague will also fully close the zipper while pulling on the bottom of your coverall in order to allow to tape the zipper flap without folds or creases. Fasten the harness belt. Put the chemical protective gloves on after having put on the thumb loop. Allow your colleague to seal the gap between gloves, boots and mask with chemical protective barrier tape. You can fold the tape at the end to ease the doffing process. Follow all safety instructions when working and avoid unnecessary contact with caustic soda. Personal protective equipment helps to protect you against hazards during all your work steps, during repeated exposures and against significant exposure during accidents such as a broken pipe. After your operation, follow the decontamination procedure and rinse yourself down with water. Go to the garment doffing area to correctly remove the PPE and avoid any risk of contamination. Your colleague who wears the appropriate PPE will help you with doffing. Remove your harness. Allow your colleague to carefully remove the adhesive tape from the mask and boots. The colleague opens the chin flap as well as the double flap on the zip. Allow your colleague to pull the zip down to your navel and peel off the coverall inside out, making sure that the potentially contaminated surface remains on the inside. The colleague takes hold of the gloves with the arms of the coverall in order to remove them. Then your colleague uses the coverall legs to hold the boots and helps you take them off. Be sure to place your feet on an uncontaminated surface. The colleague removes the mask. The colleague rolls up the contaminated coverall and the tape and places them in a hazardous waste bag. 
Even if it is not contaminated, the coverall is single-use and must be disposed of.